It's like you can just keep watching it over and over again. You just never really get tired of it. Just a magical movie. I, I love it, personally. So what's up, you guys? Mr. Winning 1235 back here yet again. We got hit with a hell of a surprise today, didn't we? Huh? Gorillas dropped uh, sleeping powder. Um, apparently, the story behind this I read on the, on the forums goes that Damon wrote this song on Monday, produced a video on Wednesday, and uploaded it on Thursday. So it's got to click how... Uh, how uh you know how quick that process took honestly to put out a put out this song um sleeping powder man it's a really good song really kind of a kind of a lazy music video but you know i'm not really enjoying the whole mocap style that uh they've been doing with the characters um it looks good for when they're doing those silly little um those interviews with the journalists and stuff like that where they're on the couch talking to them and stuff but um it looks like they're recording the motion capture for the characters on like a freaking uh, Connect Xbox Connect motion sensor thing. It just doesn't look that good. I know that 2D animation is extremely expensive and time consuming to make. Um, they are currently filming another music video right now. Um, besides this sleeping powder music video, don't really count this. Um, they are they are filming a legit new music video that's going to be on par with the quality of Saturn's bars. Um, I saw that they recently put out a casting call for people who live in London to be in the new Gorillaz music video. I don't know what song they're doing. I'm guessing it's going to be one of the singles that they put out before the album came out, uh, like Andromeda or uh, We Got the Power, one of those tracks. That's what I'm guessing. Um, so, But we'll see. I mean... Who knows how long it's going to take before that finally drops. But uh, that's really exciting. But anyway, Sleeping Powder. Oh, gone with the self of the day. Gone. Some reason, I keep replaying this song over and over again. Like, I don't know why it just seems so addicting and catchy. And uh, I don't know, there's something, there's something really cool about it. It's like Damon was listening to all these people complaining about how there wasn't enough of his vocals on humans. So he just... Uh, went and quickly made a song that's just only featuring him and nobody else. Um, uh, you know, that's just... I'm sure that's not the reason why. Uh, it's just really cool that we got this little extra. Um, I'm really enjoying the track, personally. Um, it seems like a lot of other people are too. Even people who didn't like humans, they seem to really, really like this track. They like it. They see it seems reminiscent of older gorillas, and I think that's mostly just because it doesn't really feature any other guest stars on it. But uh, I don't know. It's just just different opinions on that. Anyway, um, so on top of that, uh, this is actually led into a point that I didn't really get to talk to um, earlier about the uh, Super Deluxe Humans vinyl box set. That uh, supposedly features uh, 14 bonus tracks that we haven't gotten yet. Um, I'm guessing it's out of the uh, the 40 songs that um, Damon said that he had that hasn't been put out yet. And one of them on here, I actually saw a live video of on YouTube. Um, it was a song called Garage Palace with uh, Little Sims as the featured artist. Garage Palace. When I heard the live version on YouTube, you can search for it right now. Um... They played it live at a show recently. Um, they're playing the the uh, the Margate Demon Days Festival tomorrow. Um, you can watch it here on YouTube on Red Bull TV. I'm going to be trying to tune into that. I've got some friends coming over tomorrow night, though, so I might not get to watch it. I might have to watch some replays. But um, I'm hoping that they play some stuff that we haven't heard before, songs like this. We'll see. I'm not expecting that. I'm really looking forward to this show because I'm looking forward to seeing how the gorillas are going to incorporate their older material with the newer material. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the track listing that they're going to go with because my show is coming up in October to go see these guys in Georgia. So I'm looking forward to seeing a track listing, how that's going to kind of play out. Um, but anyway, here's a, here's a few of the songs that we don't have yet that I'm looking forward to hearing on the Super Deluxe Humans vinyl box set. Like I said, I have pre-ordered this. It's supposed to ship sometime in August, but uh, I'm guessing we're going to get a few of these tracks before that even comes, which would be nice if they ended up on the internet somehow or something like that. Um, 
which I'm sure they will, or maybe they already have. I should probably search. But anyway, uh, disc one for the Super Deluxe Humans vinyl box set. Um, uh, I switched my robot off in Ascension, of course. Then there on disc two, it says we have a track called Long Beach that we haven't heard yet. Then Strobe Light, another track called Columbians that we haven't heard yet. Interesting. Then another track called Duets, D-U-E-T-Z, like they've been doing on this album with a Z on the end. Duets, Moments, which we've heard. Midnight Float is another song that we haven't heard yet. I like that track name. Interesting, uh, interlude, nonconformist oath that goes into submission, of course, and then Desk 10, Grilling With His Face. The track is called Grilling With His Face. Grilling With His Face. Then Charger. Then we have Charger Alternative Version, which is, which is, they said that there was quite a few of those that had alternative versions on it. Um, elevator going up with Andromeda. Andromeda Dram Special, which I guess there's a different version of Andromeda called Dram Special in parentheses. I guess he, uh, he's more heavily featured than he was on the standard, uh, Andromeda track. Busted in Blue, and then in Busted in Blue, Fafa Yuan Special. It sounds Ford. It must be like a, a Busted in Blue version that's maybe more a Syrian orchestra type of, type of sound. That's going to be really cool to hear. I love it when gorillas do world music shit. Like uh, Hong Kong is one of my favorite D-sides because I love the Chinese instruments in that. Um, then Interlude Talk Radio leads into Carnival. Then Carnival featuring Anthony Hamilton 2D special. Um, when they played this song live before the album came out, Damon actually sang on Carnival, and I'm guessing this version right here is the one that we're going to get where Damon actually has some speaking parts on Carnival. Probably going to push it over that two-minute mark and make it more of a standout track, I'm hoping. That track has grown on, uh, on me a whole lot since, the, uh, since my album review. Um, Sex Martyr Party is my fucking jam now. Sex Martyr Party, I consider that to be one of the best songs on the album now. It's legit grown on me that much. Uh, then Let Me Out, of course. Uh, Disc 20, Five Whales in a Dream. Five Whales in a Dream. That's the name of the track. Haven't heard that one yet. Penthouse Sex Murder Party. Then the track I was talking about that you can hear live on YouTube right now, Garage Palace featuring Little Sims. Check that out. It sounds like a club banging fucking song. Kind of reminds me of like a cousin of Outer, uh, Out of Body. If you heard Out of Body from the Deluxe Edition. You listen to Garage Palace, it sounds like the tracks are kind of related in a way. Um, just, uh, yeah, just go check it out. If you like Out of Body, you should probably like Garage Palace. Then She's My Caller. Uh, featuring Kali Yukunis, I don't know how to say her name, but there's another version that says it's Kali Spanish Special, so I guess she sings her verse in Spanish, that's what I'm guessing that She's My Caller version is going to be, and then uh, The Elephant with Hallelujah Money, of course, Phoenix on the Hill, which is another song that we haven't got yet, uh, We Got the Power, and Trans Transformer, T-R-A-N-Z-F-O-R-M-E-R. -E Transformer. That's the last song on the deluxe edition. So about, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It was around eleven... If you count the other uh, alternative versions of album tracks, there's about 14 uh, different new songs on this thing that we haven't got yet. So it's gonna be it's gonna be sick. I'm hoping that Sleeping Powder is just the beginning. I'm hoping that we that he slowly just puts out these 40 some songs that he's uh, that he's done yet along with these 14. I'm, I hope that this is just the beginning. I hope that after we get these 14 tracks on the Super Deluxe final box set. 
that we keep on getting these songs that he, that he talked about releasing. I'm hoping he doesn't save them from other projects like he did with Plastic Beach, where a lot of the B-sides for that ended up on the Dr. D opera. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Um, I would love to actually see a fucking D-sides album this time. Damon, if you could actually make that happen, that would be great. Can we actually get a Humans D-sides album? Because I'm sure there's a lot more awesome fucking club bangers that you've got in a vault somewhere, and we need to hear that stuff. Um, everything that I've heard so far is great. Um, you know, the Deluxe Edition songs are so good. Like, three of the songs on the Deluxe Edition should have been on the actual album. They were that good. And I'm sure that a ton of these songs that are that we're going to get on this box set that I hope end up on the internet beforehand are going to be great as well. So, um, anyway... Just wanted to follow back up with you guys. I know it's been a little while. I was planning on doing some more stuff other than Gorillaz videos, but this album just keeps on playing throughout my mind. I've been doing nothing but listening to Gorillaz and Beatles lately, and uh, then, you know, Sleeping Powder came out, and I just thought this would be a good time to hop back on here again. So anyway, like I said, I'll probably be back to talk about the, uh, the uh, Demon Days concert. I'll, uh, I'll put up a little review of that, talk about the songs that they played and the track listing, and we'll have some more Gorillaz fun on this channel because screw it. I don't, I don't give a shit if I'm putting up nothing but Gorillaz content right now because I think this is mostly what you guys want from me, and I have fun making these videos, so I don't see why a reason to stop doing this. That's just my opinion. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I Like I said, I'll follow back up with you guys um, early next week. I recently quit my job. I'm starting a new job, so I've got a little bit of time off before I start that new gig. So I'll be, uh, probably be here a lot more often. So I will see you guys soon. Mooney1235, out. Peace.